All right, so we'll do a quick update on the install. Um, it's all fine, final now, pretty much. Got a few rattles to sort out behind the dash, but it's nothing that can easily be, be fixed. Uh, tab looks exactly the same, Nexus 7 2012, USB ROM. USB on-the-go Y cable is now behind the dash. All I've got is this one wire poking out. Um, pretty much cleaned all this up now. The step-down converter, I've just sort of cut away at the top to give it some ventilation. Wired in the uh, power required from the old cigarette lighter. And then some separate power going to the uh, USB hub. And at the back here, it's just got my Bluetooth and uh, power for the tablet itself, uh, phone charger. Uh, something else I can't remember at the moment. So that lives in there. Uh, phone charger cable I've got in the compartment there. Not that I ever need it. Uh, Bluetooth itself is up behind and under the uh, cowling here. And I've sort of trimmed away um, the internal plastic, even though it didn't really need it. Trimmed away the internal plastic to get an even thinner sort of cover. So. Bluetooth uh, stealth install, if you will. It's quite nice. The glove box. Um, I've got a extension running from the from the Y cable here to uh, micro USB that, or micro mini USB that the new hub uses. Uh, power from the step down. USB sound card with the auxiliary on. Just easier to keep this in the glove box, so you can. Uh, pull the auxiliary out or add more ports if you need to without the need of running a load of extensions. Um, Mega Squirt is connected up so I've just got a serial extension FTDI uh, serial to USB and that just sits away and lives in there. Um, I'll clean this up, I'll sit that down into the glove box um, just make it a little bit, a little bit neater. Uh, PS3 controller that, that connects to the tablet over Bluetooth as well. Um, over the over the tablet's Bluetooth, not the GPS one. Um, gives you oh, you can play games on it, whatever. It's just living in there. I've just been messing around with it, not like, and ne never um, never use it. So I said this this can all be cleaned up in a minute. That lives up there, not staying up there. <laughs> it's living up there. Um, you can see I've just looped over the bar here. All, all of this has got to be cleaned up as well, but. That is pretty much the install. Um, tablet, I mean, start button, that's, uh, that's new as well, but that's not wired up just yet. So, immobilizer, put on ignition. Tablet fires up into life, and because it's on ignition, the uh, the ECU gets the power and the ECU will connect. You don't get focus now. So, that's ECU connected. And before I start, it's a cold start anyway. So it turning off. That turns off, goes in standby. And same again. The way I've got it wired up, um, essentially that that step down comes on the first click, so that's that's first click. That'll wake up, but it won't connect to the ECU because the ECU needs its power from the, the ignition. So if you're just listening to music or something, that's absolutely fine doing that. So that's ignition on now, and issue connects. And this is the same with MS Droid or whatever. This uh, will, um, if you've not got the app open, say if you're listening to music and stuff, um, or even just here, and the actual app is closed, um, it will ask you. Uh, get rid of that. I'll do it in standby. So if the app is closed um, and you got it set to a default, it'll either ask you or it fires straight up into the app anyway. So mine is set as a default. So when the tablet recognizes that the mega squirt is plugged in, uh, it will fire up the app automatically. But this is the only issue I have with with the install is it connects all fine and stuff. That's no problem at all. Frog position there. When you close the app, it doesn't save the gauges, and that's not a problem with, um, with anything to do with the tablet at all, it's just the, the app itself. But for the most part, it just sits there in the background. If you ever need to uh, use something else, you can just just minimize it. 
So I set my two up there. You can just just minimise it and use all your other apps. It's not not a problem at all. But I've got I've got it set up so Shadow Dash is the priority. That's the only one that's opening from recognition. So even USB sticks and stuff, plug it in. It won't bombard me anymore with a a pop up saying you want to use this as a default action. It just connects and uh, when you go into a file browser you can see it. So essentially this is priority at the moment. Turn the car on. Tablet uh, fires up, goes into this. Um, goes into the app Shadow Dash. Right, so next thing, uh, I'll possibly clean up and add a little capacitor to or something, is the app is all connected now, but as soon as you turn the car on, you have to excuse a pretty, uh, well, not not rough, but unfinished startup tune. So, the tablet goes into standby mode as soon as it loses power on the key, but it aborts it when it gets the power back, and I think having a sort of capacitor in line, or just after the 12 volt, will just hold it, hold it enough on the power. So um, there you go. It hold it enough on the power so it doesn't go into that abort mode. But it's not really an issue for me at the moment. I have no idea if you can hear me now. This exhaust is absolutely stupid. So essentially, uh, Bluetooth is sat up there. That's that's all connected now. Um, I have got it on the gauges actually um, to use Bluetooth GPS, but you see the box is blanked out down here. So, getting around that, if I go into uh, my Bluetooth GPS stuff, uh, first pair up some Bluetooth. So, uh, not putting that one, sorry. Connect to this one again. So that's fine. Um, Alright, so that's my Bluetooth GPS. <laughs> Almost immediate lock on it, which is fantastic. Um, so that's just sat under there, so it's got a pretty good view of the sky. Um, just a thin layer of plastic in between, so you never know it's there, and it connects almost immediately, even even from a, a fresh um, boot as you just seen. So that can that can sit sit happily ticking away, and all the apps can use it. Bit of a I don't know what's going on there with a the little box, but essentially uh, that is it. You can use your Sigic in the background or whatever the the uh, GPS navigation app have your stuff running, you can data log and listen to music and do whatever really. Um, same principle with the music and stuff, play music, skip music, you don't, don't need to actually have the music app out open as such to, to listen to stuff and to quickly skip tracks or whatever, which is handy. So that's it, that's the, that's the install, it's pretty smart, pretty easy, removable, just one wire. That do the same job as killing the car, so pulled it out, essentially it's getting no power, and it go into a standby mode, and then just pull the tablet out. This has been painted up now, but so it's pretty simple, dead easy.